Myths of the Dogman by David Gordon White Forward by Wendy Donegger This is a remarkably wide-ranging book, so grand in scope that it is hard to realize that it is the author's first full-length publication. It is remarkable not only for its style, which is a sheer joy to read, full of wordplay and irony and passion and weird anecdotes, but for the brilliance of its central thesis and the erudition with which that thesis is developed. It is also an important book, for it deals with a subject that is of central interest to anthropologists, historians, and historians of religion today, the subject of otherness. An awful lot of frogwash has been written about otherness and related subjects in India and elsewhere, but Myths of the Dogman approaches the subject with a fresh honesty that is much needed. With a serendipitous combination of instinct and wide knowledge, David White has fixed upon a brilliant point de puy, dogs polluting and dogmen liminal and monstrous. As he guides us through the permutations of this theme through the myths of several cultures, in texts, visual images, and social attitudes, it emerges as a deeply embedded and powerful metaphor. In this book, David White has proved not merely the intellectual convergence of ideas as all historians of religions attempt to do, but the geographic convergence of ideas. That is, he has not been content merely to demonstrate that three different cultures, European, Indian, and Chinese, share the same image of otherness, a phenomenon that could be explained by some sort of Jungian or even Eliadian assumption of universality. He has gone on to demonstrate that these three cultures refract, in a negative inversion, the mythological self-image of one single actual culture that existed on the border of all three a phenomenon that can be explained through the more accessible assumptions of history and anthropology. He argues for a central source for all three sets of myths in Central Asia. A more cautious scholar would have been tempted to rest upon this geographically circumscribed achievement. But caution is not among David White's many virtues. He sallies forth again into the wider and more dangerous territory of universal human history. Indeed, universal human nature, the personal fascination, the love of the subject that has made the book so alive throughout gives it, in the end, the power to reach down to a deeper level of human concern, as he argues for an entirely new and politically enlightened reading of the problem of otherness in the history of religions. Myths of the Dogman leaves us with a stunning and deeply moving vision of the pervasiveness and destructiveness of our own terror of the other. Wendy Donegger, Mircea Eliade Professor of the History of Religions.